Hey guys, it's Tamika Lynn. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do appreciate you joining. And if you're returning, I do appreciate your support and you coming back. So today we are gonna discuss luxury luggage. We're gonna go over the bags that I have in my collection. I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory like I always do. And then this video will actually have a part two. In part two, we're gonna discuss my honest opinions about owning luxury luggage. So I hope you guys stick around and I hope you also come back for part two. Oh, disclaimer, I'm sorry. Every bag that we are discussing today is a carry on only. I do not and will never check any of these bags. I'm sure there are people that do take that chance, but me, <laughs> I'm not taking that chance. So um, these are only carry-on bags for us. So again, carry-on only. I would hate for someone to check one of their luxury pieces and then it goes missing before it gets to the belt. So again, guys, these are carry-on. Initially, I was not going to record this particular video next. I had um, something else in mind, but over this past weekend with it being uh, the Thanksgiving holidays, I've had so many memories pop up on social media. So a couple years ago, we went to Thailand, then we went over to Cambodia for a few days. Last year, we were in um, Dublin, Ireland. So seeing those memories, I got the cool idea to go ahead and film um, my luggage collection video <laughs> because it made perfect sense. Um, those memories were just awesome. Um, when we went to Thailand, well, in all of the trips I've taken over um, the Thanksgiving holiday, it's always been with very special people. Um, and, you know, some trips had certain meanings behind them. So I just, I'm really thankful for those experiences and for the people that I have met who are in my life. And I'm just really glad that our paths cross and we've been able to travel the world together, um, including with my family. <laughs> so. Last year when we were in Dublin, we actually did several whiskey tours. We were with friends um, and my little one and my husband came. And as we're doing all these whiskey tours, so I'm not really a whiskey drinker. So I was able to, um, you know, politely bow out every time we went um, to a tasting, but I was actually pregnant and we hadn't announced it to anyone yet. So all my friends were like, you're not drinking, you're not drinking. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> you know, I don't really like whiskey. And I'm ordering all these virgin drinks every time we went to a bar. So, you know, a couple months or a couple weeks later, we actually made the official announcement and they were like, we knew it, <laughs> we knew it because you didn't even want wine. Um, we, we went to the Guinness factory, the beer Guinness. And as we were doing that tour, um, the tour guy was saying that, you know, back in the day, they would actually serve Guinness um, on the labor and delivery, like the maternity floor, because apparently it was really good for the blood. And so my husband looked over at me and I was like, uh -uh, I don't want it. So, but yeah, so that is the reason why I decided to go ahead in this particular order and film this video. So first we are gonna talk about my oldest um, bag in my collection as far as my travel pieces. I purchased this, I think maybe about 13 years ago. I'm gonna try to find a picture because I know I have some pictures carrying it traveling, but not many um, because I really didn't carry this bag often. So the bag I'm talking about is the Keep All 55, and this is in um, Veneer Abeen. I had this bag stuffed with like some, um, I'm looking in my room trying to think of the name. I had it stuffed with dust bags. I had like a few books in here, just stuff for storage because I really don't use the bag a whole lot. One, it's big, right? And two, it gets heavy as you're carrying it. So I think the last time I used this bag, um, last year for our anniversary, we had stayed a long weekend in Venice um, because we were still in Italy at the time. We did like a staycation in Venice and 
really nice trip. This couple that we're really close with, they had came with us for that weekend and we had a ball, you know, running around Venice. But um, what I noticed is, cause I carried this until I got tired, then I passed it off to my husband and he was carrying, you know, his own bag. This bag was extremely heavy and it was just a weekend trip. So the more I fill it up, the heavier it gets. So I found myself over the years not really reaching for it a whole lot. And it's simply because if I'm the one carrying it, it can get pretty heavy um, depending on what I have in it. So let's talk about my first bag. So it has one big space um, and it's dark brown on the inside. No zipper or anything. And again, like I said, this bag, I think it's about 13 years old. Um, just one big space. It came with a, and this is also bandolier. So it, it has this and it comes with a strap. So the strap hat is um, two pieces. So this, um, I, I never take it apart. So it's a little tough to take apart, but these two come apart and it becomes adjustable. So you can make it, you know, longer or shorter, depending on um, the preference of what you need it. So I've kept it the same length for years. So I really haven't used, um, needed to switch it around too often. So it's pretty stiff. So it connects here. And what I've noticed over the years as the bag has gotten older, the gold has tarnished and I'm not really sure. I don't believe this was real brass. I think Louis Vuitton had already switched by the time this bag was made. Although I'm not positive, but I don't believe it's real brass. But the lock, for instance, see it's tarnishing compared to the strap, which I didn't use as much because I keep the strap stored inside of the bag. But all in all, it's still in you know very good condition. There's a couple of things I've noticed with this bag compared to the newer key balls because I do have other ones in my collection. One is that it has no zipper in the middle of the bag. And two, the luggage tags now are of better quality. And what I mean by that, so I got this one hot stamp with my initials, but if you can see the inside of this luggage tag, it's almost as if the leather wasn't on both sides. Um, and again, like I said, this is an older bag. The bags today are not like that. So when I do carry this bag, I usually carry it and there's a um, shoulder thing right here that helps it, you know, stay on your shoulder better. But when I carry it, I normally carry it crossbody like this. And um, this, I, I changed the setting, so I made it longer, but normally when I'm carrying it, it's not this long. But like I said, it gets very heavy. So I don't reach for it a whole lot. I mean, it's still in great condition and that possibly could be also because I haven't used it a, a whole ton um, over the time that I've had it. You know, a couple weekend trips, road trips, you know, just grab it, go, come back home, but it hasn't had extensive use, um, if that makes sense. But this was my first luggage item that I purchased from Louis Vuitton. And again, um, I'm pretty sure it was about 13 years ago. I'm not gonna try to find my receipt. I don't know what I did with the key to the lock. And so now days, I don't put the lock on. The lock isn't on any of my other bags or any of my purses, my speedies, not on my key balls because I lost the key to this one. So I learned my lesson from that. So yeah, so this is my very first baby in my luggage collection and she's grown with me over the years. And I, I think she's in, you know, very good, um, very good shape to be, you know, a preteen so <laughs> the next bag is a set that I purchased and I went with this particular color because I like that it was more carefree um, when I'm traveling like say for instance if we ever got stuck in the rain the snow etc I didn't want to have to worry about 
my luggage considering how much you know we invested in it so i opted for the monogram eclipse and this is actually part of the men's line um as you know you see more and more of my collection you'll see that i don't discriminate if i like it i like it so i have things that come from the men's line <laughs> i have things that come from the women line um on this keep all as you can see the if you look on the inside let me try to take it off so i can better explain the inside and the outside of the leather it's now one piece versus on the um damier bean um luggage that i had it's like the leather was only on one side so that was something that louis vuitton did um you know revise on their bags which in my opinion it's much better this way because the quality is a lot better this is the luggage tag and on this one i didn't get it hot stamp um only because i told my husband we could both use these bags so i didn't worry about getting this one hot stamped um this is a size 50. so it's um smaller than the first bag i showed you guys and um i didn't have it stuffed so that's why it's wrinkled but after these videos, I'm probably going to stuff all of the bags. Inside the bag, I just had like the dust bag, but I'm probably going to stuff them just to keep the wrinkles out. I keep them at the top of um, our closet, but I think it would be a good idea to stuff them. But anyways, so on this bag, um, it has this reverse monogram in black and then in gray. And then this hardware is like gunmetal. So gorgeous. I just absolutely love the monogram eclipse. And on the inside, this is just the um, dust bag. On the inside, unlike my first bag, there's now a zipper. And it's a pretty deep zipper. In the zipper, I just keep the, um, I keep the lock and key. And then I keep the little thing that you put around the handles to secure them together like this. You can see that you secure the handles so i don't really keep that on the bag i just keep it in this pocket so that i know where it's at and then the, the strap itself is again it's two pieces and it's adjustable so right here and um you know you could take it apart make it shorter or longer and then it has this shoulder padding thing. I don't know the proper name for it, but um, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so it makes it more comfortable to carry. Now this bag I do like a lot better than the first one because it's smaller and I love the color of it. So as you can see, it's, it's like a little bit more petite. Um, it can definitely get heavy depending on how much you stuff it. So the more items you put in, the heavier it's going to get. So both size 50 and 55 are acceptable carry-ons for um, pretty much any airline. Now, when I carry this, I normally hand it to my husband. So <laughs> the bags like this, I'll hand to my husband. But if it's a rolling bag, those I have no problem with. But these bags tend to get very heavy, but they're really good like duffel bags if you're going on, you know, weekend trips. They're really good when you are going on like road trips. I mean, and they're beautiful, right? So it's hard to kind of um, resist um, looking at them because they're such, such beautiful bags. So I'll show you the, the two side by side. So as you can see, it's a noticeable difference. The top bag is much wider than the bottom. Width-wise, they are about the same, but height-wise, this one is definitely taller as well. But I mean, all in all, they're very similar bags other than the design itself and the size. Um, this is a size 55 and this is a size 50. So to go along with the Keep All 50 in the Monogram Eclipse, we bought it as a set. So we also bought the Horizon. And this is a rolling bag. It has four wheels at the bottom and it zips from right here 
all the way around, down, and then under. And then it does have a lock on it right here. And it's a TSA approved lock, of course. And then you press the button to pull up the handle. And because it has four wheels, it does, um, you can, you know, spin it around or what have you. It comes with a luggage tag and of course, again, I did not hot stamp the luggage tag. Maybe at some point I will, but I just didn't see the need to um, when we purchased them since, you know, I'm gonna be nice enough to let my husband carry it sometimes. Oh, you know what I just noticed? This luggage tag doesn't have the smooth leather going all the way around it. Hmm. I don't know the reasoning or the rationale behind some having it and some not. So I'll have to look that up because now I'm curious. So when you unlock the bag, you, you press it right here and then, you know, the zipper opens. And then I'll just unzip it to show you guys the inside. So on the inside, so this is one section and then of course this um, comes apart and you know, you would pack your stuff. I do suggest using packing cubes. I mean, in any of my luggages like this, I would suggest using packing cubes. And then on this side, I have something in here. What do I have in here? I don't know. Oh, it's the Louis Vuitton book. I'm like, what is that? That's in there. So it was in, so on this side, it has a zipper right here and then the big zipper opens. So this was down here. I, I guess I've never placed anything inside the little zipper. So on the inside, it opens, you know, you stuff your stuff and you close this back. Show you guys. I dreaded doing this video because I wasn't really sure how this was gonna work with trying to hold up luggage, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> um, I guess it's okay. And then I'll fasten this side back. So again, this is the inside. And then, of course, you know, I would just zip it back. And I'm gonna show you the back side of it. So back here, it's this gun metal, and then I still have the plastic on it. So I'm not sure if you could see like the little scratch here and there. That's because it's plastic. I haven't pulled off the plastic yet. Um, and I probably won't because it kind of prevents the metal from being scratched up because it hasn't stretched through the plastic yet. But the back, it's just, you know, one solid piece. And then the front has leather on both corners. So I absolutely love this set. When we're traveling, I'm going to show you some mod shots of the bag. to wrap up the bags in my LV luggage collection. It's a personal favorite. I think this is probably the most beautiful bag in my collection and I absolutely love it. It's so stunning. So I present to you the Keep All 50 and this was one of Virgil Abloh's last pieces before his untimely passing. If you um, are new to my channel, um, there was, I did a um, review on my paint can bag, which was also a Virgil piece. So I'll link it below, but go back and watch that video as well. But anyways, so this beauty right here is stunning. I don't really think it does it justice on camera, but it's like a gradient 
Um, it goes from pink to blue, and then the underneath is blue, and then it comes, you know, back around. The handles are like blue and pink. It looks like mock reptile or something, but this bag is all leather. This is 100% leather. Where the other bags are coated canvas, this is all leather. Um, the hardware is silver because, again, this is part of the men's collection. Um, <laughs> so um, with the men's collection, the hardware is typically either silver or like that gunmetal or black sometimes, but this is silver and it complements the pink and blue so very well. Um, silver right here. So on the other two key balls that I have, where it was made is right here. It says like Louis Vuitton and both, all three of those pieces were made in France as was this. So they say it right here, like Louis Vuitton um, made in France. But on this particular bag, they didn't put any wording on the sides because they put it on the inside. Can you see that? So this is my only key ball that has the tag on the inside. And then as you can see, it does have a um, zipper and it's such a beautiful royal blue on the inside. I feel like it's such a perfect contrast with the pink and then the blue. It's just, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then this, um, I'm so used to saying purse. This bag um, also has, you know, this adjustable um, strap. And again, it right here, you can adjust it to make it longer or shorter. And it has the cushion thing for your shoulder. And again, like I said, it's leather. So it, it's so soft. Oh my God, it's so soft. Um, I absolutely love this bag. So when I ordered this bag, um, we actually, one of the CAs, so me and my really good friend, um, we both shopped a lot <laughs> and we would oftentimes shop together, but we had different CAs. And when I ordered this bag, her CA was actually going to be at a, um, like a pop-up store. Um, it's a seasonal store. Um, while we were in Italy, it's in the beautiful town of Cortina. It's a ski town. Oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. So when I ordered the bag, I had her take it um, or have it delivered to that store because we went up to Cortina for the weekend, you know, to visit her at the store and for us to pick up some stuff that we ordered. We had both gotten um, this bag and, you know, some other stuff. So um, we actually made a trip out of it when we picked up this bag, but when I walked in and saw this, oh my God, and she had the upstairs set up for us because it was three of us. So she had ordered us like um, chocolates and champagne. I mean, she just went all out. I mean, <laughs> we are at, we were at the Louis Vuitton store like a lot. So, I mean, typical behavior for us was to have our champagne and sit chatting and just stuff, right? So this, I would say, was probably one of my most favorite purchases ever and something I'll cherish forever. I do have a um, luggage tag and I didn't get it stamped. It just says Louis Vuitton on it. Only because, I mean, I would never sell this bag, but if I did, I would, you know, sell it at a, a premium. I mean, this bag is going for like four times what I paid for it, but because it was so limited edition, but I would never get, <laughs> I would never get rid of it. Um, when we were traveling back to the States, my husband was carrying this bag and we were in, um, the, uh, like the Delta lounge waiting, um, on our flight. And this lady came up to my husband trying to buy the bag from us. She's like, how did you get that bag? I was trying to buy that bag and my CA couldn't get it for me. How much do you want for it? And her husband thought she's absolutely crazy coming up to two strangers. But my husband was like, yeah, my wife will never let me get rid of this bag. It's actually not mine. It's hers, but she's letting me use it. I'm going to insert a picture that he took and text it back to me with his feet on my bag, but I digress. So yeah, this, um, and this is a size 50. So similar to this one, both size 50s, except this is leather and this is coated canvas. 
But this bag is just so stunning. And like I said, this is probably the favorite thing out of everything in my collection, whether that be handbags or luggage, just everything. I just, I absolutely love this bag. Um, it came in a small key ball, like more of a purse size. And I didn't opt for it because I, I didn't think I would use it like that as far as day-to-day -day carrying, but definitely for luggage, I, I absolutely love this bag. So I, um, in the zipper, like I said, with the other bags. So this again is the little thing that ties around the bag, you know, to secure the handles. And then this is um, the um, lock and key. And then this is just the um, product code number. If you could see that. So this bag um, definitely is not available at Louis Vuitton, but you could find it on the um, pre-love market or, you know, with a reseller. Um, but all that I've seen were being sold at a premium. The other three bags are definitely still available at Louis Vuitton. So I will link those bags below. Mind you, I've purchased them at different times. So I don't know what today's price is, but I didn't pay today's price. <laughs> I mean, there's probably been like three price increases probably um, since, you know, I bought that set. And this I purchased, I think it was during the summer last year, if I'm not mistaken, but no, I think it was in the fall because I remember I wore um, this beautiful orange uh, Burberry um, jacket when I picked it up and I'll insert a picture of it. But yeah, so those are my Louis Vuitton luggages, um, you know, my bags that I have in my collection. And like I said, part two of this video, I'm going to discuss my honest thoughts on owning um, luxury travel pieces, if it's worth it, if it's not. Um, yes, I have some thoughts. So I hope you do come back to hear that video. But I hope you have enjoyed um, taking a look at the items that I have. I'm like getting tongue tied. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed um, taking a look at the items that I have in my collection. So if you've enjoyed this video today, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do that as well. I would love to have you on um, this journey of mine. And um, feel free to comment below. Tell me what are your thoughts about some of the bags I've went over. Do you own any um, luxury luggage? Um, and if so, what do you have in your collection and, and do you like it? I would love to hear from you guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining. Until next time, stay safe.